Hi, welcome to MasterCook. I'm going to show you how to use the new MasterCook 22 Windows product. When you install MasterCook 22 onto your Windows computer and you launch it, you'll see this black navigation bar at the top. And it takes you to the different areas of the program. And right now we're on the home screen. So you can go to the cookbooks, search, meals. And when you first go to the meals, or the shopping list, or you open up a recipe in the edit view, or you go to the ingredient list, it gives it takes about 10 seconds for it to load the ingredient database because MasterCook 22 has over 300,000 ingredients in its database. It has the latest um, ingredients and their nutrients from the USDA. And this one has quite a bit more ingredients than all the previous versions. And so once you first view one of those screens, it'll take it about 10 seconds to load. But then once you get that loaded, you can go to any other screen and they will load um, just, they'll load quickly and they won't be delayed anymore. So there's a shopping screen and tips and favorites, and then there's this master list. So in the cookbook screen, it shows you the cookbooks that you have added to the program. And you can either view them in the book view or the title view. You can adjust the font size of these screens by using the view menu and then increasing the font size. And they're separate from the book and the title. And once you adjust them, they'll stay this way when you close the program and reopen it. And if you open up a cookbook, the same thing, you can use this view menu to increase the font sizes. And again, for the picture view or the title view, you can adjust them. And you'll notice that there's now a date over here on this right side. And it shows you that the date of the recipe was last modified. And it automatically gets a date when you import the recipe into a cookbook. It gets an initial date. And then when you edit a recipe, this date is updated when you edit your recipe. So when you're in the cookbook screen, you can sort your cookbooks by their name, or you can sort by their size, how many recipes are inside of them, or you can sort by collection. And when you open up a cookbook, this is the recipe browser screen, and you can view the recipes, either the picture tab or the titles. And then you can sort and filter your recipes by using these menus here along the left side of the screen. So you can sort by category, and then you can see your recipes by category. Or you can sort by some you know, other criteria that you select here. And when you're in the recipe browser screen, there are commands over here in this right toolbar. And it lets you do different things. You can select to view a recipe in the display view. Or you can view it in the edit view if you would like to edit a recipe. So you just select a recipe and you can either view it in the display view or you can view it in the recipe edit view. And this allows you to edit the recipe. You can add your own notes and assign categories from the edit view. You can also add a recipe to a shopping list or to a menu or to the favorites area. You can scale a recipe. So this recipe right now serves eight and has these ingredients based on eight servings. So if you wanted to scale it, if you want to double the recipe, you can do that. And it doubles it. Or you can scale it by a certain number of servings. You can select one here or you can select other and then type in your own here and press OK. And it, it'll update the ingredients automatically for you to show the, the servings that you have. You can do a spell check. You can get a nutritional analysis of a recipe. Click it on this heart icon. It'll tell you that it, there are some ingredients that it doesn't know what they are. So you can um, link these ingredients to an ingredient in the ingredient list. And then um, you'll see all the nutritional analysis for this recipe based on um, serving, serving size. You can also export your recipes to a text file or export them in a MasterCook format if you want to share them with another MasterCook user. You can um, 
import recipes into your cookbooks from text files or other files you get from another MasterCook user. You can use the import assistant. It will help you um, import uh, text into a recipe. So you can copy like a recipe text from a web page and then paste it into the import assistant. And then once you paste text in here, you can select it and then assign it to um, a recipe data field. You can print, you can also print your recipes right from here by using this command here. And there are also other commands up here that let you do other things, such as if you want to reset the recipe nutrition, if you have some ingredients that are linked to a previous version of MasterCook and you've brought those recipes into MasterCook 22, you can reset the recipe nutrition links in the recipe or in the entire cookbook so that MasterCook 22 can use its own ingredient database. In the search screen, you can search just with a keyword search, to just quickly search through all your recipes and cookbooks to search for something. And you can even select which cookbooks you want it to search through. So it'll let you select cookbooks that you can search through. If you click on the expanded search button, it lets you search by a lot of other specific fields, data fields, so you can click on the more info to have it show you recipes that you know have text in the author field or you can tell it to show you recipes that include certain ingredients or maybe show you recipes that avoid certain ingredients so if you have someone like with a peanut allergy and you want it to show you recipes but they avoid peanuts you would use this this command here and then you could um, type in peanuts and then press the add button and then you can press search and it will search through the cookbooks and then list all the recipes it finds that have um, that have recipes that do not have peanuts in them. The meals section lets you create menus and meal plans. A menu is a particular course such as dinner or lunch or breakfast and a meal plan it is several courses over several days, as many days as you would like. You can also click on the calendar down here to add um, meals, recipes, or ingredients to a particular day on a calendar. Um, if you don't want to just create a generic um, meal plan, you can add recipes and ingredients in here. And so if you wanted to add, like, add a recipe, there are a few ways to do that. You can click on this blank row underneath breakfast or underneath lunch, whichever row. Click on a little triangle here. And if you select to insert a recipe, it'll show you all the cookbooks you have in the program. And then you select a cookbook. And then you can see all the recipes that are inside that cookbook. And so then you can select a recipe here and select insert recipe. And it inserts that recipe into your meal plan. And if you just type in here, so let's say you want to just type an ingredient like an apple, you type in the ingredient and hit enter, and then it'll ask you the amount. So if you want to have one apple, you would just type in the one for the amount, and that's how you can add an ingredient. Another way to add recipes into a menu or a meal plan is to open up the master list. And this is like a Windows Explorer. It shows you all the content that you have in the program, and you can resize this window here, and you can expand to see the cookbooks that you have in the program and you can expand one of the cookbooks and you can select to view all of the recipes in this cookbook or maybe just a particular category and so you um, select you know a category or all categories here and then you can click on recipes here and you can even select more than one you can hold down the control key or the shift key to select multiple ones and then once you have your recipe selected you just click and drag them and drop them where it shows that you can um, drop between the lines. So let's say we wanted to drop them in here. And so that's another quick way to add recipes to a menu or a meal plan is just to drag them from the right side of the master list and right onto your menu or your meal plan. You can also open up another master list window and then you can drag and drop from the right pane of one master list window and 
onto, you know, a different cookbook or something on the other, on the right-hand side of the other master list window to add a recipe from one cookbook, to copy it from one cookbook, and then just paste it into another cookbook. You just um, drag and drop from the right pane of one side of the master list into the other right pane of the other master list window, and it tells you that it co copied the recipes into that cookbook. The shopping screen is where you go if you want to view your shopping lists or save and create new shopping lists. And there's a sample shopping list that you can take a look at here. There's also a pantry. And so it has a sample pantry as well. So you can create your own pantry lists and your own shopping lists from this screen. If you go to the tips section, it shows you it's like a glossary and cooking tips. And so you can see some of these are just text, tip, text tips and others have an image. And some of them even have a video. So if you see like the little video clapper icon, um, you'll know that this, this tip has a video that you can play. And to play a video, you just double click on the image and then the um, video player will launch. And so you can watch the video from the video player. The favorites area is like a bookmarks. So if you, you know, browsing different cookbooks and you don't wanna to have to remember where you saw a recipe or if you're trying to, you know, decide what recipes you wanna to add to a menu or a meal plan, you can, you can save recipes, menus, meal plans, shopping lists, tips, and search. You can add them here to those favorites. And to add them, you just view one like a recipe you can either click on one here or view a recipe and then you click on this plus icon and then you select favorites and you can add that recipe to the favorites. And so you see it here. The master list, I, again, I explained that it's like a Windows Explorer. It lets you see all your content in the program. And then it makes it really easy for you to drag and drop your recipes you know, into another master list, or you can even drag and drop them um, into the screen in Master Cook here too, as well. So if I wanted to, um, you know, add a recipe to this cookbook, I can actually drag and drop recipes, select them here, and then drag and drop them right onto the cookbook on the screen, and it will copy them into that cookbook. If you have, if you want to learn how to use all the features in Master Cook, if you go to the Help menu and you select select help contents it brings up the help section of the program and it has a search feature so you can search for certain topics and you can expand the different subjects to find um, particular articles within these sections here if you click on the tools menu you can access the ingredient list and as I explained earlier, it comes with all these ingredients from the USDA database. You can also add your own ingredients in here if you wish. Or if you have, if you find an ingredient in here and you want to add a synonym, so the ingredient will be recognized with a different ingredient name, if you go to the More Info tab, you can um, create a synonym for these ingredients that you have selected here so you can make them so that they, the recipe, I recognize them by more than just one name. So that's it for this quick tour of MasterCook 22. Thank you for using MasterCook.